Okay, here we are. E302. This is an, uh, an outside view with an obstructed view of the lifeboats. And as you can see, here's the room. We had a guaranteed cabin, which meant our cabin was assigned very shortly before the cruise. And as you can see, this is an accessible cabin suitable for wheelchairs. There were three of us staying in the cabin, so we had two twin beds and an upper Pullman bed. This was pulled down every night and put away every morning by the stateroom steward. As you can see, our horizon and information about the itinerary change was placed on our desk. We were able to get these horizons every night so that we could see what we were doing the next day. As you arrive in the room, the muster and an emergency video is playing for you to get up to know all of the procedures in case of an emergency. The room was very big and spacious for what felt like an inside room, but a window, so sort of an outside view. Uh, the balcony is obviously not there, but uh, the outside view, you can see the lifeboats, but you can still see over, which was nice. The bedside tables were quite big with lots of places to store things. The drawers are great, plenty of room for, especially for a four night cruise for the three of us. We did not lack for space uh, and we were able to put our suitcases underneath the beds to keep them out of the way. There were plenty of opportunities to charge phones and things. There were sockets at the uh, front by the TV and we just plugged everything in there and that was great for the three of us, not a problem at all. There was quite a bit of storage space for uh, clothing and things like that, which I was unused to in smaller cabins. We did have, for example, um, one wardrobe each and then obviously drawers and such as well. As you can see, there was also a hairdryer in the drawers here underneath the desk and you did have a mini fridge as well that was obviously empty, but we were able to put things in it like water and energy drinks throughout the week so that we were able to make sure that we were co having cold drinks all the time. There's a kettle and such was sort of stocked every morning with coffee, tea and biscuits. And because I'm a wine drinker, I did ask the, the cabin steward for a couple of wine glasses and every night these were replenished and refreshed, which was really, really nice. We put our passports and wallets in the sink um, in the sink, sorry, in the safe, so we didn't need to use them for the entirety of the cruise unless we were going to port. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Full length mirror, really good for checking your outfit before you go out on those celebration night ex escapades. And then of course we have the bathroom. Remember this is an accessible cabin and so the bathroom is slightly different to what you'll see in most cabins aboard. Instead of a shower cubicle um, with a sliding door or anything like that, you have this sort of wet room style bathroom which has a seat that uh, obviously if you need that to, you can pull that down and sit for your shower, uh, toilet, all the toiletries that you'd expect and everything like that. Overall, a really great room and we were really, really feeling lucky to have such a big space.